Good evening, folks. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update on Wednesday, December 20th. 11.32 p.m. solstice 2017. These scientists say cosmic radiation has effect on climate change. That would be me and us. Uh, but they're not convinced here at this particular place. Not everyone is convinced. Global warming alarmist much? We're convinced. Winter storm hits British Columbia and Alberta, leaving two dead. 75,000 without power. That's a boom. Heavy snow and freezing rain caused extensive damage to the power lines across British Columbia and Alberta, Canada on December 19th, 2017, leaving 75,000 without power. At least two people were killed somewhere in Alberta. Calgary begins digging out after record snowfall causing dozens of collisions. As much as 31 centimeters of snow fell across Calgary since Tuesday afternoon, creating commuter headaches and leaving roads and sidewalks dangerously icy. The storm broke the previous record of 11.7 centimeters, almost tripling it, boom, back in 1953. 1953, nothing in particular that's uh, solar, but uh, tripling. Calgary snowfall was part of the larger system that blanketed much of southwestern Alberta. Beaver Mines, Pincher Creek getting as much as 60 centimeters. Newcastle Ski Resort, 40 centimeters. Heads up. That is a lot of snow equipment. Grand solar minimum much? Well, this is cosmic ray flux, and you're totally fluxed if you live in Hawaii and you think you're going to tough it out for the grand solar minimum. We have bad news for you. Big Island remains under flash flood warnings as heavy rains fall. These are 50-year floods, continuous rains, destroying the island. I'll let you look at these links. We got to get through it. Let me talk about with pineapple and sugar production gone, Hawaii weighs its agricultural future. Guys, I'll leave you links to this. It'll be down in the description, which is down in the left here where it says show more. Click that. This article says that uh, there is no more agriculture left in Hawaii. In fact, tens of thousands of abandoned acres of farmland lie fallow. 90% of agriculture is missing. And it's all shut down. So if this area gets cut off from civilization, they rely on 90%. Hawaiian Islands are currently relying on 90% imports for their food. Heads up, Hawaii. Death toll rises to 46 as Tropical Depression Vinta nears the Philippines. Tropical storm Kaitak threatens Vietnam and Malaysia. This is predicted as we descend into the grand solar minimum and cosmic rays increase. Because we are part of the scientists that say cosmic radiation does have an effect on climate. The death toll in the Philippines caused by heavy rain floods and landslides produced by tropical cyclone Arduja rose to 46 on Thursday. It is not going to end. I will leave you links. Earthquake in Tehran. Magnitude 5.2 tremor hits Iran's capital. Five weeks after a major earthquake killed 600. Downgraded by the USGS. No diggity. No doubt, 4.9. <laughs> Predictable much. 5.7 uh, at Chichishima, Japan. Nuclear radiation much? 5.1, Nishinomote, Japan. We got a little activity here uh, in the San Andreas, and we have some interesting quakes at a small scale kicking off in South Carolina and Alabama today. 2.2 and 2.7 in Scottsboro, Alabama. Major eruption in Bezemiani we covered earlier in a video. This is the largest eruption as we descend into the grand solar minimum thus far, sending ash directly into the stratosphere. 20,000 feet, according to this article. I'll leave you links. It was just a minor burp. The activity has uh, quieted. And the aviation alert is down to orange. Volcanic update today. Agong, Fuego, Popocatapeto and Sabancaya all smoking. Astronomers are perplexed by a weird string at the center of our galaxy near a black hole. Well, there's no black hole because black holes can't be seen, but we can certainly see this rope here, guys. If you follow the Electric Universe, you should check out the Thunderbolts project. This is a Birkeland current. This plasma filament here, take a look at these Z-pinches. This is a star formation Z-pinches. These little 
dots or stars forming in the Birkeland current, as predicted by the electric universe theory, which we can see here, unlike a black hole, which is imaginary. This Birkeland current, this plasma filament is real, and it's really making stars. Yay. Electric universe proven. Solar activity cycle falls to the bottom. Bottom, bottom. 1.5 years earlier than expected. Boom. Grand solar minimum much. Everyone is perplexed about what's happening with record snows in the Denali National Park. Uh, the solar cycle ending early. Guys, it didn't end early. According to the Lab for X-ray Solar Astronomy, the PN Lebdev Physical Institute in Russia, the solar activity cycle has, by all indications, practically reached its minimum. What this is really saying is that 1.5 years before the actual minimum, we've reached the lowest total solar irradiance, beating last year's um, 2009 numbers. That's what it says. That's a heads up. That means the next three years are going to be a hellish climax humanity has ever seen. It's pretty simple math. We're going to get into it at the end of the video. We're almost there. I'm going to do some history because history, the past is the key to the future. History's greatest El Nino may have caused the severe 19th century famine. An exceptionally strong grand <laughs> El Nino, which was a minor minimum. This is not a grand solar minimum. This is just a major minima called the Glassberg minima. We're talking cycle 12 here, exactly here in the drop down, the very beginning of the Glassberg minimum, which is what we're heading into in the next three years. Tens of millions perished. What may be the greatest grand solar minimum in modern history, because it's the last one ever identified, Cause record-breaking droughts that help trigger disastrous famines, likely killing more than 50 million people globally, a new study finds. Well, we've known about it for years here. And from 1876 to 1878, it was cold and there were crop failures and 50 million people died. Right here, at the very beginning of the Glassberg Minimum, which is right where we're going to be for the next three years. So heads up, I'll leave you links to this article. The past is the key to the future. You better read up on this because this is what you're living. Let's get to the facts. Here's your white Christmas forecast. This is the current snowfall. The snow cover totals current. Hudson Bay is frozen over 98%. This will close up in a few days. The entire Arctic is frozen one day before winter solstice. There is no lack of ice. There's no melting Arctic. There will be record Arctic ice this year. I think it will be completely frozen near 60 degrees by March. We have 95% snow cover north of 45. And by the end of February, we should have 80% snow cover north of 30. It's a heads up. And one thing I want to share with you real quick here, if it comes up here, is the snow cover for North America and Greenland. Here's December's plot increasing. Let's look at November's plot. This is the December North American Greenland snow cover extent you're looking at, and we're going to go check for November. Also increasing. Hmm. That's amazing. That that happens during global warming. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. Cosmic ray flux is increasing. If you're in the Hawaiian Islands, it's a heads up. You may think of uh, the amount of food shortage you're going to have. If you're cut off from the rest of us, 90% uh, of your food is being imported. We have record snow in Calgary that's nonstop. The albedo effect is in full effect. And we're going to have a white Christmas across at least 25% of the U.S. and all of Canada. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. 
This is our 95th consecutive episode. It will be our 100th episode on Christmas Day. I hope you watch. Be safe, everybody.